Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? Back to give you another video. You know who this is, Mr. Warmack, kind of back in the buildings. So, sit back and relax. Although this video might not have you sitting back and relax after I get done speaking because I'm going to speak real truths that you may not have heard of because you're used to the old Okie Duck, the company line. So, let me, let me talk about something. The other day, we were talking about uh, uh, Maya Angelou. That's Maya Angelou, Angelou, you know. And we were talking, they were, it was a question posed. And we were all talking about how now all of a sudden everybody's a, a, a poet. Everybody's a freaking poet. More like a pair. But uh, these black conscious pro black folks, you know, downgrade people. And they talk, they have talked about these people. These pro blacks, these conscious. They talk about Farrakhan, they talk about Marcus Garvey, Dr. Clark, Dr. Ben Carson, etc. And all those guys don't have the same views, so don't, please don't. Don't state the obvious, please, which they're going to do. You know they are going, you know Fader Khan doesn't believe what Dr. Ben Carson got to sh Shut the fuck up. I, I, I mean, anymore, so I don't take a lot of people on the internet serious because they're, they're just stupid. But uh, they, they talk about these people and they vilify these people and they, hold on a minute. And they run these guys in the ground. But... When you talk about Maya Angelou to these folks, she's the second coming of Mother Teresa. And mind you, I'm talking about pro-white conscious folks. Because if, if, if you bear in mind what I'm saying to you right now, the thing you need, to, the thing I want, I want you to drill in your head right now before I, when I start going into it, is pro-black, pro-black conscious folks. Now mind you, pro-black, put what's that what's that in your mind? When you when you think of pro-black, what's that bring to your mind? And what's that what's that image up here? And I want you to keep that image in there when I go keep when I, when I start making the point. I guess I'm bring her up, she's Mother Teresa, you know. But then again, they won't call her a sellout, but they'll call you a sellout for trying to help your people show how to do other ways besides begging off the government. Now let me explain to you why she's a sellout. You know, it's hypocritical of these black conscious folks to call people that are trying to make a difference to sell out, you know. Meanwhile, Maya Angelou was married to two white guys. Now, everybody who knows me knows I have no problem with this. There's none, there's none of my business who you marry. Like I said, I have white friends. I have, I have white friends. I have white people in my family. It's none of my business who you marry. I can care less. You will marry an Asian, a Native American, a real Indian, uh, white person jerk, I, I don't care. I mean, if, you, if it makes you happy in life, that's you. But if you're pro-black, or any pro-pro race, I'll, I'll, I'll switch it up on you. Because I don't want you to cry, babies crying, you know, it's on black people. If you're, I, know, I have a friend, I've talked about this in my videos. He's Irish, he's, he's either second or, no, he's, he's third generation, because his parents don't have a thick accent. He's third generation Irish. He married an Asian chick. And then he had the balls one day, we were all out, you know, we talking about Irish pride, this and that. And, and like, we're like, look, dude, you know, what are you doing? And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, you got a shirt that says Irish pride and you're married to an Asian chick. You made so proud, uh, if you were that proud of Irish, I don't want you to marry to, like I said, it's hypocritical. When I call my own friends out, so I'm going to call you nincompoops out. My Angelou married two white guys. And then, and then here's a justification these crazy nuts give me. Well, she's done more in her life than you will ever do. I don't care what she's done in her life, and I don't care what I do in my life. It do doesn't make doesn't make what I'm saying wrong. What it is is it's a deflection. And then they want the usual name calling whenever they can't prove. Like I tell you people, when they can't prove you wrong, they will call you names. And it does happen. Oh, you're crazy! You're a sellout. Look, I'm a sellout. You just got done ripping Farrakhan, Dr. Clark, and him, a new asshole. They talk about how they done this, that, and the fifth. When I bring up the, the fact that you're pro-black, you support her who, after she went out off the married, not one, my God, two.
two of them, and you can, and she's pro black. Where the fuck do they do this at? This is why. This is why a lot of people overall do not take a lot of black conscious and hypocrites serious. Because everybody will say, well, "What's wrong with that?" Mind you, pro black. What's that image in your head? And now I'm not going to get a bunch of little, you know, the real sellouts, the ones who are justify this. Well, you know, you can still love your people and still have somebody of an opposite race. Oh, really? Let me let me get to, let me let me let me use your theory, which because I've heard this before. You need to tell me you can love your race so much that it doesn't extend to your household or who you love personally. Oh, really? All right, sit down. See, I got to deal with people like this. These are the dummies you got to bring on your team. And let me tell you something anymore. I'm not dealing with these dummies right now. It's 50-50. The 50% that know people and the 50% that are just dummies. All I need to grab is 10% of those dummies and to have a clear majority. That's it. Well, I want to do 10% because there's always a plus or minus there. But I want 10% of these dummies to try to understand what we're talking about. So that's all I want to know. So my Angelo is there are two white guys, but she's pro-black. And every time the government, every time there was any type of racial strife, like, like with, uh, with the King, Trayvon Martin and any other type of racial incidents, they would throw Maya Angelou into the mix. She'd give her a little speech. Like the, the government would do this. Because the government gave her all them Kennedy, Kennedy Senator Awards. Look this shit up. I, I, ain't, I ain't like talking to be talking. But what it is is your guys are mad because it is a lot of people come on this internet thing here with many fake false beliefs that have been taught through the years. They listen to people like myself and others, who and then they get they get mind blown, and then they get mad. They start to whine and cry, and call you names. Look, people, let me tell you something. I too was mind blown when other people would explain shit to me. I had a certain set of cores, principles, beliefs, and then I started seeing well, some of this stuff is in job, and, and other people would help me along the way to show. I didn't get mad at these people. I didn't call them names. I thanked them for what they did, because if I, if I didn't thank them, I would be, still be the ignorance that I was in. It's like this pro-black thing. A lot of you guys aren't pro-black. A lot of you guys are pro-black money. You want that pro-black money, but you don't know how to get it, and that's why you guys are trying to scope scope your story. I mean, I mean how do I say, carry your story off. You know, like I said, we have black pride, but this black pride doesn't extend to who you marry. Like I said, I can't say black pride and have a white chick on my arm. It just don't, it's corny. It just don't it don't look it don't look right. It's just hypocritical. But nowadays, a lot of you black folks want to be hypocrites, so I don't give a shit. Go ahead. You know. It's a bad part about it. like I said, she if you look at it, if you look at the what I'm saying, it's all for pure facts. Whenever there was this racial strife, the government threw her in it. Now she was getting all the how come not a lot of black folks are getting a lot of these awards, the Kennedy Center Awards? Like what Santana got it, and it's alright. But look, they all they, it's the people who they push out. It's not who we push out, it's who they push out. So a lot of these people are gonna get a lot upset of what I'm saying, but there's the people who be like, he's right. What can you do about it? All you can do is this. He's right. And you can move on. But like I always say, if you're not fucking with facts, you're not fucking with me. So I'm out of here. Peace.